I was never good at cooking. Sounded like that came from the other room. A real looker here. Mommy must be proud.
I learned my numbers when I was a Here, let me show you how I learned. Hold your hands up in the air. Now bring them down in front of your face. See? And that's two hands. If you didn't stop banging on the piano like that, my ears were gonna start bleeding. Play to that. Uh, no. I... Play to that. I can't read music. <coughs> Get off me, you... Oh, jeez. Play. Okay, okay, okay. Sounds good, buddy. I'm going to go, okay? Self. Gordon, you don't have to do this. I don't want you broadcasting, Ricky. You're gonna hurt kids. Hurt them? Gordon, we want to help them. They need us. You need us. For what? For what? Gordon, look at this city. The buildings are dark and the streets are empty. No one knows how to be a friendly neighbor. It's a city of shuttered up hearts, and they need someone to let in the light. I don't think that's you, Ricky. You know why I think we got canceled? Why? Because people like darkness more than light. Why would they do that? Maybe it makes them uncomfy, because it shows how messed up they are. What are you talking about, Becky? I'm talking about our show, Gordon! We show them how to be friendly, and they hate that because they're not friendly. I don't think that's the problem, Becky. Really? Are you sure about that, Gordon? Do you really think the City Network suits care about anything except their bank account? Do you really think people won't take any excuse to ignore their own issues? Come on, Gordon. We both know. Deep down, you want to be friendly. 
Sorry, Ricky. Ricky, I'm here. Oh, Gordon, thank goodness. So, what are they? Bad puppets? Oh, Gordon, I really hoped you wouldn't find out. It's so embarrassing. But we were all curious. What do you mean? We wanted to know what other shows had that we didn't. We'd never been allowed to watch television before, but after we got canceled, no one was around to stop us. Okay. So we turned on one of the old sets, expecting to see something amazing. But it wasn't amazing. It was... mean. It felt like we were dying, Gordon. We all got a little twisted then, but some of us... Great. Then how do I get out of here? Well, there's... Uh, th th there's an elevator somewhere. Uh, should be at the end of that hall? It said it's locked down. Oh, that means you'll have to pull the security release. That's on the other side of their stage. No, of course it is. If I ever get out of here, I'm gonna make you into a hat, Ricky. Oh, I believe in you, Gordon. Just do your wham-blam, fight the puppets thing. Give them the old ABC one, two, three. Thanks for the encouragement. Unfriendly neighborhood. Anyone else? 
No! You're alive! I'm so proud! Good. I'm leaving. Yes, you should! Job well done, Gordon! Turned off our antenna and survived the unfriendly neighborhood! You're a handyman extraordinaire! Don't mock me, Ricky. Mock you? I would never. Oh, before you go, I was wondering if you'd do us a favor? Oh? You've been hanging around the studio. You know a little bit about our show. Spit it out, Ricky. I was wondering if you'd help run our studio. What? See, everything's really old and falling apart. Really beyond our ability to care for. And on the personal side, I think it's obvious that we need a bit of a guiding hand. Are you kidding? Gordon, do I look like a sock that would kid? Ricky. I'm just a maintenance man. I don't know how to run a studio. Oh, I think you can handle it. It can't be that hard. What if you end up like them? I don't think we're the ones you should be worried about, Gordon. Come on. Won't you be our neighbor? Fine. We'll give it a shot. Oh, Gordon! I'm so glad we will have such fun. I'm not living here, though. Well, we'll talk about that. Oh, Gordon, thank you. Thank you for being our friend. I am bursting at the seams. I must go tell the others at once. Tomorrow night, then? Uh, no, 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 it's no. It's decided. Tomorrow night. See you later, Gordon. Arrivederci. Toodaloo. 23 skidoo. Ciao. O'Brien, what have you done this time? I helped the neighbors get a slot on public access TV. It was late night on weekdays. I don't think anyone watched it. Within a couple of weeks, though, word was starting to get out. Some people loved the show, some people hated it. That caught the network's attention. And by the end of the year, we had three channels wanting to sign for a whole season. At that point, I figured I had done my part. So I stopped showing up at the studio in the evenings. I don't know. 
I guess I just wanted to keep my head down. I never told anyone I was helping bring back the show. But for some reason, it keeps bugging me. I can't forget about it. And some nights, I catch myself staring out the window. Wondering what's happening in the neighborhood. I ended early. Can we uh, go back to the beginning? <laughs>